Okay, I figured I'd give everyone a look at how I set up my 16 gallon Craftsman shop vacuum with the Cyclone. I see lots of videos with the rigid vacuum, but none with the Craftsman, at least not in a 16 gallon. Okay, so here's how it is. You have to adjust from a two inch coupler Reduce it down to a one inch PVC. Then I come up with the one inch PVC. I made mine 36 inches long. Then I come into a coupler. I cut the holes just big enough for the one inch PVC to come through. I left one inch up so it's enough to go into another fitting if I want to put a cap or something later. All right. I come out of the shop vacuum with a 3D printed adapter and then I go into a regular PVC 92 inch come up with that 2 inch PVC go into a long sweep 2 inch elbow another piece and then another long sweep 2 inch elbow into an adapter adapts from the cyclone into the 2 inch PVC which is Anyway, then I come out of the cyclone to my shop vacuum hose. Right. When I cut the opening for the bucket to fit in here, I cut it at 11 and a quarter inches. And the round piece that came out, I put underneath the lid. I got eight screws holding it in, just regular screws whatever I had laying around and so that gives me this is half inch plywood so I have a disc in there that just fits perfectly inside the top of the bucket and it's screwed to the lid and everything the cyclone is bolted to the lid and the wood Let's see if I can pop this open real quick See, it fit perfectly inside the bucket. So I made use of that cut out piece of round wood. I could use two and a half inch drill bits and drilled the holes for all the attachments. So they just drop in there. And they're held by that lip. This plywood was a piece of scrap from a post hole digger I bought a few years ago. So I finally made use of it. And that's it. You can't go any bigger than one inch PVC because as you can tell it's either touching or about to touch. So anything bigger than one inch PVC won't work so you have to reduce it down to one inch PVC then I made a bushing that goes inside that coupler it goes to the caster so that it doesn't have a whole lot of slack well actually it doesn't have any but with all this distance it has a little bit of wobble to it but, uh, that's fine it's going to be stationary anyway I made these three feet long so it leaves enough room, more than enough room. I could have made them shorter between the bucket and the top of the vacuum. I could have probably made that about four inches shorter. I can cut them later if I decide to. But I put a bucket inside a bucket so the bucket won't collapse. The wood under the lid so it won't get sucked in. And that's it. That's my Cyclone Craftsman Shop Vac setup. And I three, like I said, I 3D printed all these pieces. So I'll leave a link in the description to 
where they're at on Thingiverse and the one inside there. And this vacuum's on sale until the 29th of this month, June 29th, 2021, for 90 bucks. So that's forty dollars cheaper than I could find it anywhere else. So that's it. Just wanted to if anyone's looking to do it with the, one of these craftsman shop vacuums, there's how it's done. Right, later.